Shut up and sit down. Hi guys! I am Andriana Chekawa and this is Jeff Salas. And you are watching COD TV. Hello everybody, my name is Andriana Chekawa. And I'm Jeff Salas. And we are members of ESCOT. The Associated Students of College of the Desert. As the ESCOT Student Senate, our goal is to bring the student community closer together. Also, to engage in activities for students to enrich our overall college experience. ESCOT puts on many events for the school community during the fall and spring semester of every year. We do this as a way of engaging the student body on campus. We also work very closely with the clubs on campus created and run by the students. Hi, I'm Jeff Salas. And this is Blended News. Following, you should come down to the Downtown Palm Springs Veterans Day celebration on November 11th. There, Call to the Desert will have their own sponsored team to walk down in the parade to you know, give support to the veterans. And lastly, for the month of November, you can come check out the fall production, Rent. You can check it out on November 20th, 21st, 22nd, 27th, 28th, and 29th. You can catch it at the Pollock Theater on Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. or on Sunday at 3 p.m. You can purchase your tickets at the College of the Desert Bookstore or you can go on, purchase them at www.callofthedesert.ticketleap.com. Hey Jeff, how are you? Hi, Leanna. What are you doing? Uh, just trying to find a job. Have you heard about a job hop? Job I actually hop. have a file with me. I haven't actually. Let's see. It's a job hop website. Okay. It's a career preparation at job search. It's okay. easy. You just go to Purple Briefcase website. Okay. Purplebriefcase.com? Yes. Okay. Got it. They show job opportunities in the area. Look. There is oh, nice. You might like something. Okay. Oh, and you know what the best thing? This website gives you workshops for writing a resume and how to act in a job interview. Nice. They also uh, do a workshops how to dress for work uh, interview. It's easy. I'm gonna sign up right now. Yeah. Oh, look, they also show internship opportunities. Ooh. That's pretty cool. That is. I already love this website. I'm sure it will help you define a job. Easy. Set up a profile for prospective employers to find you. Don't wait. Job hub. All right. We uh, figure out your problem with the job. Right. right. Yeah. Right. Great. I hope you will be able to find something at the job hub. But the reason I came here, I wanted to ask you, uh, are you pursuing a business degree? I am actually. Great. You know, I just found out found out that next spring, uh -huh. 2016, the kiosk at the Arimini Park will reopen. For, really? Yeah, for the whole spring semester. It's wonderful. Wow. I thought you would be interested in attending uh, the class. How, how do I get a job there? It's not a real a job. Uh, it's a three or four unit class that you have to enroll at the beginning of spring uh, 2016. Okay. Yes, isn't it great? Wow, yeah. <laughs> okay. So can only business majors apply for this? No, the class is open for anyone who wants to get experience in how to manage the little business. Wow, I think that's such a great opportunity it for many students. It is a great opportunity. It's only so. 12 weeks because they want to make sure so the last couple, three weeks you will spend uh, to study for your finals. Wow, no other job will give you that opportunity. I know, it's great. You and your team is managing the whole kiosk for the whole 12 weeks. Wow. I think you will like that. Nice. What's up guys, I'm Manny and you're here on COD TV and this is your Celebrity Hour. Alright guys, so pretty much everything based on this month is that right behind me you will see the Kardashians, the Jenners, whatever the hell you want to call them. But you know, this month wrapped around them, um, including with the, the, uh, the tragic uh, event that happened with Lamar Odom being in the hospital because of an overdosage, losing two of his best friends, 
and now him being in a semi semi coma. Um, but he is fine and well. Apparently, they're doing a dialysis on his on his kidneys, and they're just trying to fix him up. But hopefully, he will be okay. Send his send our love to him and everything. Make sure he's all right. But here we go again with the Kardashians, man. Everyone's thinking that. Kylie's just trying to look like Kim. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it, it, well, she is? She isn't? I mean, you see Instagram photos about her. She looks exactly the same. And she's posing. She's getting surgeries just like her sister. Claiming not. But, you know, what do you guys think? If you guys have any comments or anything, leave in the comment section below, okay? What's up, guys? I'm roaming the streets of Palm Desert here at College of the Desert, and I'm here asking people what are their opinions on the new Kardashian news that is coming up this October, which is, why would the Kardashians want to look so much alike? Kylie is trying to look so much like Kim Kardashian. Do you think it's just because of her, or do you think it's just an image protection? Let's ask these people what they think. How's it going, man? My name's Manny. What's up, Manny? I'm Ryan. How are you? I'm doing good, man. I got a question for you, though. Uh, do you know who the Kardashians are? Who doesn't, man? Do you think they should be doing things even like a little slower or what time? Like no, I'm talking about their uh, surgeries and all that type of stuff that they're going through. Dude, surgery man, Kylie is only 18 and it's even it's even worse because she's with Tyga and Tyga's been dating Kylie with like what, when she was 16? Which makes it an even bigger difference. So Kylie dating Tyga when she was 16 and 18 and Kardashian being in their 30s is such a huge age difference, a huge gap and with, and with surgery going on. She's only 18. She's rich. I understand that she can afford that surgery, but with their image, she's gonna put to all her fans out that you know what? If you're ugly, go get plastic surgery. You can change that, man. And Kylie, after all, she gets all that plastic surgery, she's gonna look like a Barbie doll. Yeah, I'm all right, Ryan. You got a lot to say. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. I got a Jose Rodriguez here with me, and I'm trying to find out what his opinion is. Jose, you've been hearing a lot about this Kardashian deal and everything. What is your opinion on what? Kylie is trying to do her body and why she looks so much like Kim Kardashian. I believe the over-sexualization of American girls nowadays forces them to go to extreme lengths to change and those who have access to it actually do it, such as Kylie, I don't even know how much money she has, but apparently a lot if you can have big lips and big hips. And girls back home don't know this, they don't have the access to it, so they hold themselves to higher standards. It's the same thing back in the 90s when Barbie was like the unattainable, except Barbie now looks like, except Barbie now has thick hips, blonde, black hair, and giant lips. All right, um, Kylie Jenner just turned 18. Boyfriend, Tyga the rapper, 25 years old. Kim Kardashian is what, almost 30, 38? Um, what's it called? What do you think? What do you think about the age difference? Well, now that she's legal, it's okay. But I mean, it wasn't back then, and she's rich, so she allows the privilege to avoid the law, like any other rich American. All right, guys, that's the ideas of Jose Rodriguez. Thank you, man, for coming out today. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Club Talk today. My name is Joey Hernandez. I am the ASCOT Vice President and the Chair of the Inner Club Council. Today we'll be interviewing Trio here with, and we have Aaron Velasquez Hi. representing that club. So Aaron, uh, what is Trio? Trio is a really good club to join just because we were friendly oriented that looks for the future. We, uh, what we're about is we do community service, so we're all about, just not for the school, but for the community as well. Um, we like helping out. Um, few events that we'll do our job as well as try to see who else we can help out. Uh, we uh, make sure that um, everybody's on top of things uh, with their schoolwork as well. Because um, like I said, we are family oriented. Uh, we, we do this because, um, like I said, we're about the future. We want to transfer to a four year university and that's what the program is, or the club is about is transferring to a four year university. And um, it is hard to get support uh, out there. Uh, so our director, Tula, uh, just formed this club to make sure everybody uh, transfers. That's really good. So how has your schoolwork, has your schoolwork improved since joining TRIO or? Honestly, yes. Um, last year, I will admit I was actually a part-time student. 
Um, but I just found out that um, if I was a full-time, I was actually would be on the Dean's List, which I would never thought of my uh, student career be like that. Um, in high school, I was always a C average student. I just did the minimum. Ever since I joined the club, um, I've actually improved to do the maximum and not just the minimum. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's really amazing. Um, so let's see, uh, what major events does TRIO have planned? Uh, TRIO, actually right now we're doing uh, Pet Rescue Inc. Uh, well, we're working with Pet Rescue Inc. in Coachella. Uh, we go out and uh, we do just different chores that they have us do. Play with dogs, um, try not to fall in love with dogs or sleep dogs out. <laughs> um, thankfully nothing happened yet. <laughs> so, But um, as well as uh, we have a uh, unofficially um, we want to go help out like a community, uh, community elderly center um, and then also maybe do a drug, uh, food drive as well. So is there anything else you want to uh, let the audience know about TRIO? Um, yeah, like honestly it does seem like a strict club, but honestly we're not. We're, we're pretty much laid back. Uh, we like joking around, having fun. We do stick to business as well. Um, and just come and have a good time. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you for watching CLD TV. Bye. Bye.